Welcome to Charts Today, my name is David Linton and today's edition for Thursday the 30th of November comes to you from London and I'm speaking at the Reuters Energy Conference today. Um, so we start by looking at um, the dollar index and we see here it's still in positive territory on the short term chart, still not managed to come through yet on the medium term chart. This may well be a transition if we can see prices holding at these levels and the lagging line will come through but it will take some time to play out. Uh, we still see the euro is actually um, in the cloud at the moment on the medium term, bearish on the short term. So dollar is just managing to regain a little bit of strength against the euro. Um, yen, the dollar looking very strong here, bullish on all three time frames now. So that's quite uh, good news for the dollar, but a shortage of clear upside targets. Sterling hitting 135, so we're really getting um, towards this September high and looking like we might be making a long-term transition so that could be quite interesting for sterling uh, and if we look at against the euro we're seeing strength returning here as well key thing is to break this 114 level quite convincingly looking at the Swiss franc we're seeing uh, the Swiss franc is actually also uh, sterling just going a bit higher there and also coming into the long term and against the Australian dollar really um, changing quite dramatically here as well uh, looking at Bitcoin, uh, commented upon this yesterday, the chart's really quite difficult just because of the sheer curvature. Going to the five minute, really this shows you where this uh, is playing out. 10,800 is the high we saw yesterday, 11,000 at one point, and just below the 10,000 level, back to below there, and then recovered to about 10,300. So above 11,000 would be bullish, back below 10,000 would be bearish. That's the simple way of looking at it. Keep an eye on the one minute point and figure charts. That's going to be your key if you're trading Bitcoin. Uh, the S&P 500 index uh, moved higher overnight. Uh, so we're just seeing here that uh, we're still looking at new highs. Uh, NASDAQ looking also quite strong. Um, pulling back a little bit yesterday and we did see some of the tech majors as we'll look at in a minute did come back quite heavily so Nasdaq coming back to find support but still looking strong on the, um, the medium and long term charts. Dow looking strong as well and the Russell 2000 index looking strong. Uh, the S&P future barely unchanged and the Nasdaq E-mini that has gone below the cloud so we may see a further sell off in tech. Uh, the FTSE 100 um, is still looking bearish below the cloud on the short term and really struggling to show any clear trend on the medium long term charts and the FTSE 250 the picture is much the same. The DAX uh, is just sitting on the cloud at the moment just struggling to make moves um, short term and the Nikkei also uh, just moving a little bit higher there back above the cloud on the short term. The Hang Seng just deteriorating slightly coming below the cloud on the short term and Shanghai Chinese market still struggling to make any headway way. Uh, the Sensex, the uh, uh, Indian market just pulling back, not yet below the cloud on the lagging line, but all markets really just falling back a bit and we're seeing that in the Australian market as well. Brent crude up this morning but still quite bearish below the cloud. Here we see it uh, $63 which is struggling to get back into above the 64 there were a lot of volatility there yesterday but medium and long term still looking pretty bullish and WTI just weakening a little bit short term as well. Natural gas has jumped a lot in the last few days just tailing off a bit now but sitting at the sort of 214 level so um, key will be can it stay above this $3 mark. Taking a look at gold, gold falling sharply yesterday uh, we saw that real sell off there. It hasn't unwound any of these upside targets which is pulling right back to support um, and so at the moment gold is still looking reasonable. Um, the, looking at uh, the US Treasury yield, we're seeing here that that's jumped a bit to 2.38%, so stronger dollar helping there as well. Apple um, falling below the cloud on the short term chart, so we're seeing that uh, just deteriorating slightly, looking a little bit like a double top with a lower high, so that is a little bit of worry, one to watch there. Google also falling off quite sharply below the cloud. Uh, Amazon coming back to the cloud, still bullish. Facebook falling very sharply yesterday. Got very significant falls there from the mid 180s back to the mid 170s. So uh, a significant sell off there. And Microsoft also just pulling back. That's it for today. Until tomorrow, happy charting. See you then.